Okay, I was sitting here and I was like, okay, I have to put on some makeup because otherwise I will scare you off. But then I'm looking at this concealer, it's like, whoosh. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today is the day that I'm going to be testing out the Base One Gel by Silkcare. If you see my last video, you know I bought a few stuff just to test it out if I'm allergic or not. And I am so impressed with this gel. If I'm not allergic, you bet I will have another order coming by the end of this week because it's it's amazing stuff. I did just a basic like stiletto kind of nails. Uh, I built them using forms. Um, I only use the French pink gel and it's this perfect natural kind of look. Uh, I did do a design, as you can see on this hand. I'm about to film the design, I'm going to put it on this hand so you guys can see how I did this. But that will be another video because you guys know me. My videos are always way too long. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to see how I applied this, how what is my first impression, then keep on watching. If I am allergic, I'm sure to let you guys know. Thanks for being here. Okay guys, so let's get started. Um, I have prepped the nail felt and buffed them. Um, I did not apply a dehydrator because I actually just want to use this to do a final cleanse. And this is the gel I'm going to be working with. Um, it says it's a UV gel, so it will not cure under an LED. But that's just first cleanse the nails. Maybe just needs a little bit of a go. I figured as much because it's brand new. Okay. So this is like mostly alcohol, which will act like a dehydrator. Um, so if you don't have an actual dehydrator, you can always just use alcohol. I'm going to be priming with this base one primer. Oh, well, maybe I should put it on the tips first. I'm not sure, but we're going to do it. So I haven't used these like forms in ages, so I'm not sure how well I'm going to be doing, but we're going to give it a go. If you want to see how I prime my nails from start to finish, uh, there is a video about that and I will link it below. Um, this nail is so short, but I'm going to make it work. Okay, so now let's go to the primer. This has a very strong primer scent which, you know, doesn't surprise me. But it is supposed to be an acid-free primer, so we'll see. Okay, now let's get into the bonder gel. So I need to apply a thin layer of this uh, on the nails and then cure it. Uh, I'm not going to be extending the nail at this point. This is just going to be the base on the natural nail. And this stuff is really thick. So I'm going to get rid of most of it. Let's see if I can get you guys a little closer. Okay. 
It's pretty thin there. Like that. Okay, so I'm gonna cure this in the UV light for two minutes and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so these nails have cured. There was no heat spike at all. Um, I'm so used to having heat spikes like with the violet nails and you know, I was kind of like, is something happening? But I'm sure it's it's fine. Um, so now I'm going in with the base one. This is the French pink gel and I'm using the brush I got on the same website. It is a thick gel and I'm not really used to working with it so spare with me this is the number six. Starting close to the cuticle. It is a thick gel, but it is self-leveling. You guys can see that. Rubbing a bit more. And I think I'm going for like a stiletto nail which is my usual nail type of form these days this is such a weird angle but I really want to stay in frame with for this video so I'm just scooching over okay now I'm making a mess It's a very thick gel, but it is self-leveling, so that's awesome. I'm probably not going to leave my nails on this long. But I'd rather have them too long and need to file a bit than being like, okay, this was way too short. Okay, so that looks kind of good. I'm not really worried about the apex right now. This is just for building the tip. So I'm going to flash cure this in the UV light for like 20 seconds. And then I'm gonna get my pinching tool. This is not a very sturdy pinching tool, but this is just, uh, I, I guess I got it on AliExpress, I'm not really sure. There's no heat spike at all, you guys. It's awesome. Okay, so it's been about 20 seconds. So now I'm going to pinch this a little. You can actually just leave this on like this if your light is, you know, deep enough for this to go all the way in. But I'm just going to pinch it right here. And since this is flash cured, I could move on to the next nail and then just cure everything together when the other nail is done. But it's just what I'm going to do. Okay, so grabbing a bit more gel. It is a very nice color, by the way. It's not, it's very like natural, soft pink. Am I in frame? Yes, I am in frame.
If you hear some noise coming from outside, it's just, you know, a lot of people working in the surrounding park. And just a tiny bit more. So I'm also going to flash cure this and then pinch it and give them a full cure for two minutes and I'll be back. Okay, so these nails have fully cured. Um, they are ready to be formless. Just need to... Oh, there we go. The nail is still pretty thin right now, so I have to be careful. That's a nice looking nail right there. Okay, here we go. There we go. Looks good. Okay, so now it's time to actually build the nail a little. As you can see, the apex is right here at this moment and it should be about here. So we're gonna work on that. So I'm grabbing my gel. I'm not cleaning it. It has a uh, dispersion layer, but uh, it helps adhere the next coat better. I do see some air bubbles in there, which is totally my bad, but uh, because of the color you can't really see them, so that's a good thing. This is not enough. Okay, grabbing some more. This gel is so sticky. Okay. Here we go. I'm really impressed that there was no heat spike at all. Because that's, you know, usually a good thing for people with allergies. Well, I maybe you guys know this. I was looking on the website when I ordered all this stuff, and all of the clear gels sort of had like a uh, an extra name, like watermelon or or something. Do you guys know what that means? Because you know, I'm sure it's explained somewhere on the on the website, but my. Polish isn't that great, so I have no idea. Does it smell like that or something? I don't. I don't know. Can you guys tell me that? That's the reason I didn't order any clear gel, just a clear finished gel, because I wasn't sure what that was about. Um, maybe it's just a name and it doesn't mean anything. But I was just kind of surprised. Like, why does it have like watermelon? Okay, so looking a little bit better. This gel is really nice to work with, I have to say. Cause I, like I said, I'm used to the Violet Nails gel, which just runs all over the place. And this doesn't move really. It is self-leveling, but it's not like flooding my cuticles or anything. Okay, so we're almost there. 
just need a tiny bit more over here. Sides are looking good, nice and thick. So the reason I'm flipping it over is, I'm sure you guys know, but that is uh, so the gel can, you know, sink a little bit towards the, to create a nice apex. So this is what it looks like right now. What do you guys think? I'm not really sure. Of course I need to file this and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave it at this while I'm gonna hatch. So um, I'm gonna cure this for a full two minutes and then I'll build the other nail. Okay, so moving on to the pinky. Stay in frame, stay in frame. Okay, here we go. So I'm just constantly checking on the side how it looks. So I'm going to turn it over and hit the light and cure for two minutes. Okay, so these nails have cured. Now I'm going to clean them using the cleaner, which is, I guess, more of a cleanser. Now I just want to check. Wow, that is hard. Okay, I'm so surprised it didn't have a heat spike and it's still fully cured. So now I'm going to file these nails into shape of the surface because the, the surface doesn't need too much filing. It looks pretty good. And then I'll be back. Okay guys, so this is what the nails look like when they're buffed and filed. I really, really, really like these nails. Um, they're so... I don't know, they were just perfect to apply. There's no heat spike, there's no scent uh, much. Um, and they were just easy to file and buff. And they're hard and I'm used to the five of nails always being a little bit like flexible and stuff which is not something I really like because then I get lifting like very easily so I like this much better i um, not pretty sure what kind of design I'm gonna do but I'm sure you've seen it at the start of this video so yeah guys thank you so much for watching I will keep you up to date in a couple of days whether I'm allergic to the stuff or not, and if I'm not, trust me, I'm going to buy a lot more of this stuff. Okay guys, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see how I did this neon leopard design using Kani gel paints and the Violet Nails neon set, then you should watch the next video, it will be up today as well, I'm about to film me doing a design on this hand so thank you guys for watching i will keep you guys up to date and i'll see you soon bye